For my brother-in-law Miles, 30th birthday, I drove 20 hours from California and he drove 25 hours from Arizona, and we met in the Canadian Rockies for nine days of trail runs on some of the most beautiful routes in North America. We are warming up the legs. The hardest few steps of the day are the first few to get going. Good morning from the Lake Helen Cirque Peak Trailhead here, right on the side of the highway. Today should be an exciting day, going up to our first peak of the week up here in the Canadian Rockies. We are shooting for Cirque Peak. It should be somewhere around 10 miles round trip, about 3,500 feet of climbing. Supposedly Lake Helen on the way is absolutely beautiful. Ooh, Lake Helen! And it's gonna be a steep scramble up to the top of Cirque Peak, which should have commanding views above Bow Lake and the entire area down below. Looking at the weather forecast, we had saved Cirque Peak for the first sunny day of our time in Canada. After three rainy and misty days, we were glad to have a good weather day to do our first summit of the trip. We made our way rolling up and down past lots of wildflowers that lined the trail. Wildflowers are everywhere. Yeah. After a mile or two in the forest, we came out into the sprawling open meadows and up to beautiful Helen Lake. Woohoo, Lake Helen! We have made it up to Lake Helen, which is a beautiful spot to get up to, about 3.6, 3.7 miles up the trail one way. You've got all these green meadows with wildflowers around it and beautiful reflections of the peaks in the lake. There was no one at the lake yet, and there was a beautiful reflection of the mountains in the early morning light. Once again, Miles and I were glad that we had set our alarm for 5 a.m. every day on our Canadian road trip to have these kinds of beautiful, incredible mountain views without any crowds around. Woo! First ridge! First ridge. While the elevation to Lake Helen is pretty mild, once you get past yeah. the lake, we started gaining elevation much quicker. Woo, let the climbing begin. And the last mile here to the summit of Cirque Peak, we will climb somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 feet. It's gonna be steep. The higher we climbed, the better the views got of Helen mm -hmm. Lake and the sprawling meadows behind us. Lake Helen, straight back below us, and then the Icefield Parkway is opening up with great views of all the glaciers over to the west. What's not to like about this one? Camo jacket time. Camo jacket for days. Look at this outfit. Beautiful. Oh, fashion icon. <laughs> fashion icon. As we climbed straight up the ridge, the winds picked up and we put on our rain jackets. We were glad we had a sunny day as we could see for miles off to the west towards the Wapta ice field. Woo! Making it up. Yes, sir. It's steep, huh? We are up at 9,300 feet. Heading up the steep, probably about 30% incline here. But it's definitely a battle just heading straight up at what feels like a crawling pace here. In mid-July, nearly all the snow had melted and there were only a few little patches left. Nicely done. You're killing it, Miles. We're doing great, almost there. Up at 9,600 feet next to this really cool cornice here that is just hanging on in late July. At about 8.30 a.m., we powered through the final last few steep uphills and scrambled up to the true summit. Yeah, miles! Woo! Looking straight down on the glacier on the backside. <laughs> Not in Arizona anymore! Not in Arizona anymore! <laughs> last few steps to the true summit of Cirque Peak! Yeah, miles! Woohoo! Woo Nicely done! Made it! Right under 9,800 feet. <sighs> We took a much deserved trail mix snack break on the summit for a few minutes. This was our favorite part of the day, traversing the ridge line between the true summit and the western summit. Walking across this short section of ridge line was exciting, and Cirque Peak was living up to the hype I had seen in the great reviews I had read online. There were amazing views of Bow Lake and the glaciers across Highway 93. Ah, oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's great. Woo! Definitely worth a steady uphill grade to get up to Cirque Peak. If you can get a clear day like we have today where there's not too many clouds, the views up top are tremendous. Wow, oh, these ridge lines are just fun to walk on when you can look down on both sides. After gaining the western high point and taking a few pictures, it was time to make our way down out of the wind. We were glad we brought our trekking poles, especially for the way down. The steep, rocky downhill descent is way more doable and you can throw your weight on the poles and take advantage of having four points of contact. Embrace the scree slide! 
Once we got off the super steep section, we were able to pick up our pace a bit, and it was fun hiking down with the expansive views of the Icefields Parkway right in front of us. We came down to beautiful Lake Helen and we were shocked that we still hadn't seen anyone on this sunny July day. We dumped the rocks out of our shoes and continued on our way, finally crossing paths with a few other hikers who were just now on their way up the trail. I would highly recommend Cirque Peak. It's accessible, it's non-technical, the trail goes up the south side which means the snow is going to melt out a little bit earlier in the season and the views from the top are really good. Woohoo! And we are back. Yeah, miles. Lake Helen and Cirque Peak is a fantastic hike to do in Banff National Park that is definitely worth doing if you visit the Canadian Rockies. Look at this outfit. Beautiful. Fashion icon. <laughs> Fashion icon. <laughs> Not yet.